Getting a haircut abroad is always an adventure, and you're never quite sure what to expect, especially if there's a language barrier. Well, Mark got the best haircut of his life in Istanbul, Turkey, and in this video, we're taking you through the whole experience. And it was an experience. You'll have to let us know in the comments if all haircuts in Turkey are this amazing, or if we got really lucky. And stick around to the end to find out how much it cost. I'm getting this mop finally cut off. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> and um, we're in this cool area of uh, Istanbul called Moda and figured this was a good place to go do it. And he's making tea for us right now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get that back on. I think we should just... Mark has the most fabulous, thick hair that makes me so jealous. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> but it's gotta go. <laughs> In the time since Mark's last haircut, several months had passed and we'd been to eight countries. As the cold weather arrived, his hair was mostly underneath a hat, or a toque as we call it in Canada, but he decided it was time for a cut. How excited are you to get a haircut? I'm really excited. <laughs> it's been months. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I actually can't remember the last time. <laughs> Your hair grows really fast. And I've never had a haircut in Turkey. No. <laughs> okay. World haircuts. Yeah. International haircuts. My international haircuts list. <laughs> so cool they offer you tea, like the traditional tea. Yeah. I hope it comes out in the glass. Oh no, I think it's in a paper cup. Might be a paper cup, yeah. Still, <laughs> still, I'm making tea while I'm going to the <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. If you've seen our other videos about Turkish food, you know that tea culture is huge in Turkey, and people drink it everywhere. It was nice to see that the barber shop is no exception. And it was so sweet of the barber to bring me a tea too. Feel better already? Yeah. <laughs> One half of you does. <laughs> Feel lighter on my toes. Yeah. Mostly it's just fun getting a haircut here. Yeah. A we'll souvenir that will last a couple months. <laughs> It'll last probably a week or two. <laughs> Longer than the baklava. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't speak more than a few words in Turkish, and the barber didn't speak English, so he ran over to the coffee shop next door to ask his neighbor to come translate for us. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. I'm fine. How are you? It turned out the barber felt that Mark was parting his hair in the wrong spot, so he wanted to get help asking Mark's permission to change it. The translator was lovely and helped sort everything out. It was also a great excuse to meet another Istanbul local. You can see Mark has really thick hair, so it took a while for the buzzer to do its work. Has it oh, is so it? Good. Yeah. Shorter. Definitely shorter. Look at all the hair. Oh my god. <laughs> You can make a wig for oh, all this hair. That's <laughs> With the buzzing portion complete, the barber went in with the scissors. Feel better? <laughs> During this next part, Mark got to lie back and relax. I hadn't seen him looking so relaxed since we visited the Turkish bath. I've never had to lie back like this before while getting a haircut. Is it comfy? It's kind of great. Asleep. You don't even have to hold your own head up. Yeah, it's going in. Luxury. <laughs> Looks good. It's getting there. With all the hair gone, Mark felt lighter and brighter already. All done. How's it look? Good. Good new man. New man. <laughs> You, you want bear cuts? No. Washing out all of the hair was as simple as leaning forward into the sink. At other barber shops that Mark's been to, they just use a spray bottle to wet the hair down, so this was much more thorough. It's such a simple change, but fun since we'd never seen it at a barber before. All clean. Just when we thought there were no more surprises, the barber pulled out a back massager. This was a first, and Mark was in 
heaven. It was such a nice surprise. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had a back massage at the hairdresser? Like, is this normal in Turkey or wherever you live? Leave a comment and let us know. I personally have never seen this before. A scalp massage, yes, but a back massage, no. That was a nice, unexpected surprise. Based on this experience, I think it's safe to say that Turkish barber shops are some of the best in the world. <laughs> what do you think? It looks so good. <laughs> oh, blow me off. <laughs> <laughs> it was just fun. It was full of surprises. Yeah. Every time I turn around, he's doing something new that I've never had before. It's awesome. Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. All right. With less hair on his head and more tea in his belly than when he entered the shop, Mark practically floated out to the street, feeling all loosened up after his massage. Just got my first Turkish haircut, and it was really exciting. He did all these things that they don't do at home, like uh, pushing my head forward into the sink and then uh, getting all the hair out, and I got tea, which is really fun. And the back massage. And the back massage. I was jealous. Yeah, and then he was like hair blow drying my hair while kind of like floofing it up. Yeah. <laughs> so it got lots of volume. So um, we showed him the picture and then you had Google Translate. Yeah. And then he, he brought over the guy from the coffee shop next door who spoke English. Exactly, so that was really fun. Getting a haircut in a new country is <laughs> always an exciting time. <laughs> This barber was so sweet and kind, we highly recommend going here if you need a haircut in Istanbul. The shop is located in Moda, which is on the Asian side of the city and it's one of our favorite neighborhoods. We've made a whole video about it which I'll link below. If you need a haircut while you're traveling and you don't know where to go, find a neighborhood you love and start there. Or ask someone you think looks cool and ask their recommendation. There are plenty of times I've just asked random strangers with cool style and good looking hair. So that's a good tip. Unbelievably, this haircut only cost 45 lira. 45 lira. That's like 12 bucks Canadian. Yeah. Maybe less. <laughs> For a much, much better haircut. For so much care. Yeah. And a massage and tea. <laughs> Amazing experience and value. Yeah. We've made a bunch of other videos in Istanbul, including trying some of the city's best street food and drinks, what to expect at a Turkish bath, the European versus Asian sides of the city, visiting historic sites like the Blue Mosque and Hagia Sophia, and our first time trying Turkish breakfast. We hope you enjoyed this video of Mark's amazing Turkish haircut. Let's just say any future haircut that doesn't end with a back massage will pale in comparison. How does this compare to haircuts you've had? We'd love to hear, so let us know down in the comments and make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for lots more travel adventures around the world and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.